let's start things off with a relatively new fragrance that has flown under the radar. Overall, the fragrance is incredibly versatile, but what makes it perfect for summer is the opening. The words to describe it would be energetic, optimistic, uplifting, and youthful. It's also a bit sweet with a really nice wood base. Oh, and it's got great longevity and good sillage, which is a fancy word for projection. The fragrance I'm talking about, gentlemen, is Carolina Herrera's 2022 release, Bad Boy Cobalt Parfum Electric. Gents, this is an aromatic, woody, earthy, sweet fragrance that, again, is flying under the radar and most guys haven't even heard of it. Top notes are going to be pink pepper and lavender. In the middle, we've got plum and geranium. At the base, vetiver, truffle, cedar, and oak. Now, in my opinion, the name is a bit of a mess. I would have just simply called this bad boy blue. And Carolina Herrera, if you decide to steal that, guys, you know where to send the check. But seriously, gents, this is a solid summer pick that's going to set you apart from the crowd and is easy to to wear. That being said, the plum note makes it really unique, but not hard to wear. This is a crowd pleaser. And I know some of you guys are saying, well, I've tried the other bad boys. Those are deep, rich. Aren't those winter fragrances? The answer is yes, these are. So grab the flanker that is see-through that again has the words Cobalt Electric. This is the one you want. Because let me tell you, it's completely different and perfect for hot weather. Now, you may be wondering after that first pick, Antonio, are you going to recommend me a bunch of blue fragrances this summer? Well, the answer is I could because in general, blue fragrances are very versatile. But the quick answer is no, because within each house, there are usually so many great options when it comes to hot weather fragrances that are just going to have a beautiful citrus clean opening like this one right here, Versace Poro. This fragrance right here is a masterpiece created by Alberto Maria's. It came out in 2000. Seriously, it's an amazing summer fragrance. But is it Versace's best summer fragrance? The answer is no. Now, that title, I got to give to Versace's Man of Fresh. Because although both of these fragrances are perfect for the summer, there is just something magical about this one. This one's great. This one is a masterpiece. And practically speaking, it's also got better longevity and projection. Now, the top notes here are going to be lemon, bergamot, starfruit, cardamom, and Brazilian rosewood. In the middle, we've got cedar, tarragon, sage, and pepper. And at the base, musk, saffron, amber, sycamore, and other wood notes. Bright, invigorating with just a tad of spice. I also like the fact that this fragrance is proven. It's been out for over 15 years and guys are still reaching for it. So does that mean if a fragrance has been around for over 15 years? That's a great thing. In general, yes. But know that just because something's a classic, like right here, Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue, that they haven't put a flanker out that is even better. And in this case, much better. Seriously, skip Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue and instead go with O intense. It's the same thing except two, sometimes maybe even three times stronger. This thing sticks around and it projects when you start to sweat. Now, the top notes for O intense are going to be grapefruit and mandarin orange. In the middle, we've got seawater with juniper and at the base, musk and amberwood. Now, that may sound a little bit too simple for some of you guys, but this combination is magic. That being said, if you want something more exciting and you want to stick with the light blue line, check out the two latest flankers. So you've got Italian Love right here and you've got Forever. Both of these have a very realistic grapefruit opening. Now, at this point, I know some of you guys are watching this video saying, Antonio, you are killing my wallet. Seriously, every time you watch one of my fragrances, you get a bit inspired, you go out there and buy a new cologne. Now, gents, I appreciate that, but let's talk about the elephant in the room. You go out there and buy a brand new 200 ml bottle of a fragrance I recommend, which I think is great, but guess what? You get your nose on it, you don't like it. Well, unfortunately, as a lot of you guys know, fragrance houses have a no return policy. So wouldn't it be great if you could actually date a fragrance before committing? Well, gentlemen, that's exactly what today's sponsor, Scentbird, allows you to do. Now, guys, I've worked with Scentbird for years because I love what they do. Scentbird makes it simple for you to discover and shop for your favorite perfumes. The way it works is every single month, you get to try and use a new designer fragrance. And the fragrance size they send you is generous. It's a 30-day supply, over 120 sprays, guys. And when it comes to options, they've got them. Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, John Varvedos, Issa Miyake, Parfums de Mar, Bulgari, Burberry, Bentley, Gucci, Prada, and more. Literally, they have hundreds of options on the website. But don't worry, if that seems overwhelming, they've got a really simple quiz that you can go through and they can point you in the right direction. Now, in case you're wondering, I do use their service and three of the fragrances they just sent to me this month are Brioni Intense by Brioni, Icona by Source Adage, and Haltain by Parfums de Marly. Now, all three fragrances were really nice, but it was the Brioni that I really liked. Not so much a summer scent, especially with that oud in there, but what I liked is it had that vanilla and the green apple, and it was just really well blended, a unique fragrance, and one that I'm happy I have in my collection now. That is the power of Scentbird. You've got so many different options. Every fragrance 
fragrance is guaranteed. There are no counterfeits. They're getting you guys the best. And again, you're getting to try these before you make a commitment to buy a full bottle for, you know, over a hundred bucks. Use that link in the description of today's video. Go check out our sponsor. Awesome company. I've talked about them for years. I love what they do. Scentbird. Again, use that link to get the best deal on the web. So, no list would be complete without the house of Prada. Easily, they make some of the best powdery fragrances out there. Powdery fragrances are going to have iris in there. These florals are great for the summer. Now, Prada Loam, this one, incredibly versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. And if you were to say, hey, this is my only go-to fragrance, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd say great. But is it the best Prada for the summer? I think there are better options. One example would be Luna Rosa. This one, easy to find when you go into box stores around the country. I really like this fragrance. And if you have a mild summer, this one could be perfect. But if it gets a little bit hot, you've got some even better options. And that better option is going to be Luna Rosa O Sport. Release in 2016, this is going to be a summery, lighter scent. It's not overpowering. A lot of people feel that a lot of summer citrusy fragrances are too strong. If that's you, then you want to get your hands on this. Now, at the top, we do have citrus with citron and bergamot. In the middle, we've got a bit of lavender and ginger, and at the base, ambergris and cedar. Now, one thing I really do like about this fragrance, it comes in a larger than average bottle because, as you can tell by an o sport, it's going to have a lower concentration of the fragrance oil. That being said, during summer, that's oftentimes what you want because when you heat up, when you're sweating, you're going to project more. Next up, I want to talk about a house that I don't give a lot of love to, which is too bad because I remember growing up loving their clothing and I still like their aesthetic, but that's Ralph Lauren. The original Polo Green is a powerhouse, not for summer, but it is a great fragrance that really established an entire niche. Polo Red, I think that that is a sweet fragrance, but I do think it's overpriced for what you get. But let's talk about this new Ralph's Club. So, you saw the Eau de Parfum. That one came out about a year and a half ago and it was good, but this new Parfum is really nice. Is it the perfect summer fragrance? No. This is a cooler summer night. You could definitely pull this off. You know, make sure you get a deal on this thing. If you're going to be just at a place where it gets a little bit cooler during the summer, I think that this is a little bit deeper, richer, beautiful fragrance. That being said, the two fragrances I think are actually pretty good for the summer are going to be the Blue Eau de Parfum and the Parfum. Both of these just came out in the last few years. So I think they've got a little bit more longevity. They're nice. They're smoother. They don't smell as synthetic. I actually think these are perfectly fine. And I know for a lot of you guys, you want to be able to gift a fragrance. You want something that looks good, has a brand name. Both of these are fine. And the difference is minute. I'm talking it's small. This one may be a little bit more aquatic. That being said, for some of you old school guys, you're going to say, well, Antonio, Polo Sport was actually pretty damn good. And I'll 100% agree. Polo Sport, it's been out for a while, but this one still smells amazing. A bit overpriced for what you get. Again, that's my issue with this house. And if you want something that smells very similar, check out Quorum's Aqua. I, I actually think it smells very much like Polo Sport and is a lot cheaper. And speaking of money, I know so many of you guys are on a tight budget. Nothing wrong with that because you can still smell good and look great with very little money. Now, when it comes to fragrances, and remember the 100 ml bottle, how many sprays are you going to get out of it? Guys, well over a thousand. So, right here, we've got Cool Water by Davidoff. We also have Isemiyake's Lodice Poron. They are still bangers. They're still amazing. Now, a lot of guys are probably going to be sporting these and you're going to find with Cool Water, there are tons of flankers out there. Guys, they all smell very similar. So, you know, Wave is one I, I really like. But yeah, if you can find any of these or the flankers on sale at like TJ Maxx, grab them. This one uses yuzu in the top note. So, it's a citrus that really lasts. Again, they're inexpensive. They've got great projection. I know tons of you guys have talked about how this is your go-to fragrance and you get compliments all the time. So, sorry, I'm letting the secret out. And the fragrance I'm wearing today, perhaps the best summer scent of 2023. Oh, yeah. Find out at the end of this video. Now, of course, no Real Men Real Style video would be complete without one of my favorite designers and fragrance houses, Tom Ford. And most of his fragrances are going to be deeper, richer, heavier, more for the fall, the winter, maybe even a cool spring. That being said, he has some amazing summer fragrances and easily my favorite is going to be Costa Azure. There are two bottles you're going to see out there. You're going to see the Parfum and you're going to see the Parfum. So, which one to grab? Guys, I own both of them. I've tried smelling the difference. I can't seem to find it. I do think that this one lasts longer, but that's because I was expecting it to last longer. Guys, whichever one you can get a better deal on, I would just simply grab that one. But this is an amazing summer scent. Now, really quick, you may be wondering what in the world makes a fragrance a summer fragrance? I mean, can't you technically wear any fragrance during the summer? The answer is yes, of course you can. But usually, during the summer, we're going to find there are particular notes that remind people 
of vacations, of just simply be, you know, hot weather. These are the fragrances that really work when the temperature goes up. One common note, we're going to see a lot of hot weather fragrances are going to be variations of citrus. You're going to see anything from yuzu to bergamot to, yeah, mandarin orange to just simply lemons, limes. Now, if any of you guys are familiar with the original Eau Sauvage from Dior, the original one I think came out in 1966, had a wide variety of citruses at the top. This new parfum that came out, I think is absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit less complex at the top, but it's going to be that top citrus note in this fragrance that makes it an amazing summer pick. That being said, there are other notes out there that you don't initially think are associated with summer, such as pear, but when you think about it, they're incredibly light, they're airy, and they work for the hot weather. Which, by the way, this is higher by Dior. I've talked about it. It's a little bit harder to find, so I'm not going to recommend it, but it is easily one of my best summer picks because it's just so light and beautiful. Another common note we're going to see in hot weather fragrances is going to be the aquatic note. Now, how do they make a fragrance smell like the ocean? Well, if you think about it, if you've ever been to the ocean, what do you smell? Besides the water, the salt, there's actually a little bit of maybe rotting, you know, seashells and stuff like that, which if you think about it, it's disgusting. But for many of us, we associate with that just really a fresh, clean, cool breeze coming off the water. Now, one of the first fragrance houses to use that note was Giorgio Armani in his fragrance, Aqua Di Gio, which has been a powerhouse for coming in on 30 years. Now, if you go into a store and you look for an Aqua Di Gio, you're going to be overwhelmed with choice. There are tons of them. Fortunately for you, I own most of them, and I can tell you that actually you really can't go wrong with any of them. Seriously, whether you grab Profumo, Profumo Special Blend, Profondo, Absolute, Absolute Instinct, the OG Pour Homme, or the latest Aqua Di Gio Eau de Parfum, gentlemen, you cannot grab a bad Aqua Di Gio, in my opinion. That being said, if I had to choose one for hot weather, well, this one is going to surprise some of you guys, but I'm going to go with Profundo Lights. Now, the top notes here are going to be C notes, green mandarin, and cardamom. In the middle, we've got rosemary, balsam fir, cypress, mastic, and lavender extract. And at the base, patchouli, cedar, and vetiver. Now, am I saying this one's the best? Of course not. If you want more of an aquatic smell, go with Profondo. If you want you know, a smoky incense, go with Profumo. But for today's video, I'm choosing Profondo Lights because this is great for hot weather and I wanted to rile some feathers and choose a fragrance I think a lot of people panned that I think is absolutely fine. It's very similar to Profondo. It's just going to have a bit more citrus, lighter, airy. And again, if it's getting above 35, 40 degrees Celsius, this would be a great fragrance to grab. Notice how I looked out for our non-American audience there because us Americans, yeah, we don't use Celsius. 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's when you want to be pulling this stuff off. Now, I talked about Dior earlier, one of my favorite houses, but do they have a great summer scent? Well, it's going to be a Dior Homme, just not this one. Nope, the Dior Homes I'm going to recommend are going to be the Sport and the Cologne. And you're going to find there's older variations of this. It doesn't really matter. And I do want to talk about the fact that this is a Sport, this is a Cologne. What in the world does that mean? In general, you're going to have less concentration of fragrance oil and you are going to see these made, in this case, you know, just with a bit more citrus. This one right here, just a bit lighter than the original. The idea with a Sport is you could wear this to the gym. But I do find that sports and colognes in general lend themselves better to hot weather, to summer. So, if you've got a favorite fragrance and it's got a flanker, a variation that is a sport or a cologne, grab it because that's what you want to wear when you're going to be sweating. It's going to project well. And I have to find they're, they're a really nice variation. Both of these are just beautiful. Now, earlier I talked about how certain notes are more for the summer. A great example is going to be coconut. It's in both of these fragrances, although it's very different. But for me, when I smell it in both of these, I'm like, oh man, this takes me to Puerto Rico and uh, just love the island. Just such, such a paradise. Puerto Ricans, an amazing people. And the fragrance, this one just reminded me of spending time over there. So, Virgin Island Water, this one here by Crete is relatively expensive for what you get, but uh, just a go-to for summer for me. And then let's talk about Loewe, Loewe's, I can't pronounce that, you guys, the Spanish. And I do know that Ibiza is an island off of Spain. I have seen learn that. You guys let me know in the comments when I, for some reason, said it was over in Greece. I didn't know my geo. But this fragrance right here is a unisex fragrance. That being said, get your nose on this. Incredibly unique. And a lot of people don't like the scent of coconut. This one just does it so well. And uh, it's actually got good projection. 
easily one of my favorite summer picks. That being said, if you're really into coconut fragrances and you want one that's going to get you compliments all day long with a really good amount of sweetness, gents, you need to check out Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau. Now, it's got a really simple fragrance breakout. The top, we've got bergamot. In the middle, we've got coconut. And at the base, we've got tonka bean. Like all Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances, this thing has good longevity. So, you spray, you know, three sprays in the chest area. That's going to last you the majority of the day. If you really want to project, yeah, three sprays in the chest, a couple sprays in the back of the neck, one on each arm. Guys, you're going to have people coming up and saying, wow, what are you wearing? This is amazing or you're going to choke some people out, but they're still going to, yeah, smell your amazingness. However, if that sounds horrible, but you really like the bottle design, you want something though incredibly different, check out Aviator. So, this Jean-Paul Gaultier came out in 2020, flew under the radar, and it is perfect for spring, summer, and even a warm fall day. And this one is not a sweet fragrance. At the top, you're going to find mint. In the center, you're going to find violet leaf, and at the base, you're going to have wood notes. Now, it was, I believe, a limited release, so it's a little bit harder to find out there, but if you see it and you, uh, you really like a mint mixed in again with something powdery, I like this fragrance. Highly recommend it. Now, a really quick hack for two amazing brands that have great fragrances, but confuse the heck out of buyers because their bottles pretty much look all the same. I'm talking about Yves Saint Laurent's Y-Line and Givenchy's Gentleman Line. You're going to go in there and you're going to see all of these bottles, Givenchy Gentleman, Givenchy Gentleman, Givenchy Gentleman, but they're different fragrances. Yves Saint Laurent isn't that much better. You've got all of these different Ys, then you've got Y Live. I mean, it's like, come on, guys, make it simple. Well, thankfully, during the summer, the lighter fragrances, they did make it simple. Look for the white cap. Now, I don't know if they like collaborated here because these guys did it in 2019. These guys did it in 2020. But thankfully, if you're at a duty free, you're in a hurry, you're heading off on summer vacation, you need a go-to fragrance. They're both great fragrances. But just simply, yeah, look for that white cap. You're going to go either for the cologne or with Yves Saint Laurent, you're going to go right here with the Eau Fraiche. Now, the Givenchy cologne right here has a beautiful opening. At the top, we've got bergamot, lemon, and pettigrain. In the middle, iris, vetiver, and rosemary. And at the base, musk and ambroxan. Now, the ambroxan isn't overpowering and it's not obnoxious. That's why I like this fragrance. It's got good longevity for a relatively light cologne fragrance. Now, the Eau Fraiche here is going to be a little bit more complex, a little bit sweeter. At the top, we're going to see lemon, ginger, and pepper. In the middle, we've got mint, geranium, juniper berry, and lavender. And at the base, cedar and Albana. What I like about this fragrance, it doesn't pretend to be anything else but a really nice, summery, fresh, citrusy opening version of the other fragrances. If you like classics like Bleu de Chanel, you are going to like this for the summer. All right, gents, so now the big reveal. What's the fragrance I'm going to wear the hell out of this summer? The answer, gents, is Terre de Mez Eau Givre. Released in the last year, this is a really, really nice citrus, woody, aromatic fragrance. The Eau Givre, in my opinion, is not redundant. It's got a really nice citrus opening that I absolutely love. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be rocking the hell out of this this summer. All right, Jen, so what video to watch next? How about how to actually put on a fragrance? So many guys are out there putting on fragrances incorrectly. Guys, I got you covered in this video where I show you exactly how to wear a fragrance this summer or fall, or spring, whenever. Guys, yeah, check it out. Good video. You won't make the mistakes that, uh, yeah, could lead to very bad things.